Hello everyone on HexDSL. Hi there, I've turned off my face. There we go, hello, that's better. Um, okay, that's probably the wrong thing to be showing you. Um, do you have a game in Steam where you launch it and it's fine, but if you lose focus and if your mouse goes to a different desktop or if you alt tab, if you're on a tight, if you're on a stacking desktop, um, basically anything you do that loses focus, it will just basically just shit itself and turn into a postage stamp in the top right corner or just hard freeze or do that thing where it frees up your entire desktop and you have to restart X. You've probably encountered them. One of the ones that does it for me is Seventh Guest. Also, Titan Quest is one I love that does it a lot. Um, these are games where you just you just can't you just, you just just hate it, right? And there's an easy fix for it. And I didn't know this wasn't more widely known than it is until I spoke to a friend, and she literally was like, "Why don't I do not know this?" You know, like 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 that. That's what why do I not know this? Um, let me show you an example of what I'm talking about. In my case, Seventh Guest is a good one because it shows you the blue background of the Wine desktop, and then boop, there you go, it shows you again, and there's the game inside back the one oh, yeah, no we're not back for more there's the game that blue desktop is indicative of the background um all you have to do is give the wine virtual desktop give it a size that that matches your resolution and it looks like the game is full screen the game itself can be full screen can be window can be borders window doesn't matter because it won't escape the confines of that window again not rocket science like it's one of those things that like like once you do it you're like oh that's yeah that makes like obviously that that, that makes loads of sense but actually getting it to be done is kind of a different thing. So in the case, let's use the seventh guest as my example. And the seventh guest, I launched it originally without a wine virtual desktop. And it just literally like give me a postage stamp in the middle. And if my mouse leaves it, it just boop, dead, gone. And if I full screen it, it didn't know what to do. And it just went really big and then just crashed. So it was not a great game. But by giving it a wine virtual desktop, it behaves basically perfectly. Um, so how do we find out? How do we do this? Well, we need Proton Tricks. Proton Tricks is something you'll find in every repo. I'm on Debian. It's even in there. If it's in Debian repo, it's going to be in every repo. If not, there is a GitHub page, and it's not difficult to compile and store from GitHub if you want. Uh, if you're on Debian using a slightly older version of Proton Tricks, you might want the newer version from the uh, Git repo anyway. Uh, so what we do is we go to the store page, right? And we want the number right here. So this number here, this is the app ID that Valve assigned this application or game, right? You can't see this number. You can simply use the website. Just go to the Steam website and look for the game there, right? Also, don't buy 7th Guest Anniversary Edition. It's shit. Um, but that's beside, that's beside the point. You want that on in Steam, look at the settings, go to interface, and tick this box here that says display web address bar when available. That's it. Restart Steam, and you'll have the address bar there. So in this case, let's do 7th Guest. Let's check out the settings of 7th Guest. Proton Tricks. Now, we don't need to know where it's installed. That's the point of Proton Tricks. It's going to find it. Don't, don't worry about that at all. 1044340. Right. Wine C, uh, CFG. There you go. Enter. Now, depending, you should run the game once before you do this in the, with the container you intend on using so that it can set up the container properly. If not, it'll take ages. Um, it might take a little while, might be fast. Depends on the game and stuff. And there we go. Here we go. This is what we get. Um, and we want to click this box here. And then set it to the size of your desktop. In my case, it's 1920 by 1080. Now, you can set it smaller than the resolution of your monitor. And what you'll get is a win floating window in the middle of your screen. That's it. Basically, that's what you'll get. You know, very straightforward. Because I mean, I've got this game set to 1920 by 1080, but I usually play in 1440 at ultra wide resolution. So 3440 by 1440. And I just have it as a window in the middle because it looks best. It does stretch because seventh guest 25th anniversary is shit and you should not buy it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, really pissing me off. Um, yeah, so yeah, emulate virtual desktop, do that. Good. Okay, uh, when hit okay. Now you won't have the background the first time you do it. This is a sim. This is a symptom of the fact I've already got it set up. But you won't have the background, so just do that and then hit okay. Uh, okay, and then just launch your game. That's it. That's it. Don't worry about all the the shit that that Proton Tricks spews. It's not something that's relevant to you. Don't need to worry about it. Um, you can just do it with any game as well. Like so, let's do uh, let's do the ascent. Not that we actually need to do the ascent because you know. I don't need to do that. So Proton Tricks, Tricks, uh, and this one is oh my god, what a number! Seven nine, oh no, nine seven nine six nine zero oh, wine CFG. There you go. That's it, and it'll just pop up in a second. You'll see it without the background now. Which is the order I should have done it here. I just wanted to rail on the seventh guest for being well shit, and you shouldn't buy it. Um. Might do a video actually just explaining why the seventh guest is shit and you shouldn't buy it. Maybe I should do that. I don't know. It should be self evident. The seventh guest, I was, it was a moment of mental like, just what was wrong with me when I decided to buy it. But you can see here, I've not actually 
done this before and this one's taking a lot longer in fact it's possible i haven't launched the game on this container which is why it's taking even long it's making it's doing the mkdir thing which is basically you know when steam does loading the game it's like dot 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 dot, dot. that that's the bit it's doing we're just exposing that to the world and then it's and he said come on and he said i wanted this should be a short video that just it should be a short video there you go there you go and then if i just do that and then type the numbers in it'll work i don't need to do that with this particular game so it's fine um as far as I know, there's I don't believe there's a way to set it as default for all games, but also you probably don't need to because most games, if you're having problem alt-tabbing or changing desktop, most games will be fine if you just set them to borderless window mode. So it's just maximum and maximize window. Most games are quite happy to run like that and don't really require anything else off you. Uh, but yeah, like the seventh guest is one that is actually a pain in the ass and Titan Quest will just crash if your mouse leaves, just, just dies if your mouse leaves, which is super fucking frustrating. Uh, but yeah, this sorts out, and it sorts out, and it does basically work on anything we have that bug, anything at all. I've, I've not found anything it doesn't help on. Now, all it's doing is the game thinks it's full screened, but in actual fact, it's contained within a virtual window. That is it. Thanks for watching. I've been HexDSL. This has been your top tip of the day. Send me money, patreon.com slash HexDSL. I need it to, to buy Switch Steam decks, or send me a gift on my Amazon wishlist if you'd like, or just do nothing, because why should you? Fuck you, YouTube. You big YouTube man making tens of pounds every year.